Last and final. Okay. I like how I can bang like three out in the morning. This is the time I've needed, girl. This is the time I've needed. It's also, I feel like these are like really the only spaces that I can showcase my actual actor savviness um, as all of these like agencies are like, send us your reel of you on screen. I'm like, this is my real. <laughs> you see this? You see this banter? This is what you're going to get. <laughs> um, with that said, let's go ahead. Yeah, let's start off in child's pose for this one. Knees come here, put distance apart. Take the sit bones down to the heels. Walk the fingers out in front of you. Check in with your hips first. Forehead comes all the way down to the mat. And give yourself the opportunity just to breathe. Let's come into a place of thanks. Thanks for the universe. For wisdom and knowledge and love. Give thanks for this earth, recognizing ourselves and our bodies as a part of it. Our ancestors and our lineage, acknowledging our own spirits. Give gratitude to the indigenous peoples of this land, the Salish, the Kootenai, the Blackfeet, and the Ponderay. And to this practice of yoga, and black and brown people as the original creators of this practice. So if there's someone or something, some place or space that you would like to dedicate your practice to today, you take the time to do so now. May I speak with him? And exhale. Let yourself really soften here and be heavy. Big inhale. Exhale. One more time. Big inhale. Exhale. Walk your hands off to the left hand side of your mat. Your right hand comes on top of your left hand and you pull back to your right hip. Let your head be cradled in between the tops of the biceps and the shoulders. Roll back and down through the shoulder blades. Big inhale as you grip onto the mat or floor. Exhale. Slowly walk your hands through center line. Same thing on that opposite side. Shift. Turn the torso more parallel back to the mat. Pull back through that left hip. Nice deep inhale. Exhale. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, slowly walk yourself back through center. Big inhale here. Exhale, hold. One more time, big inhale. And exhale. Go ahead and bring a little bit of movement into your feet. Maybe press down through your toes, lift your ankles up off the mat. Just checking in with your hips as you kind of move here in this space. And then slowly grip onto your mat and shift yourself forward. And then let your hands drift out. Drift down through your heart and chest, puppy pose. Turn the feet from the V into a space where they're right behind your knees. So hip width distance apart. Kind of rocking back and forth side to side, checking in with the shoulders, breathing here. Big inhale. Exhale, hold. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, let yourself shift forward, drop down through the hips and maybe pull back a little bit. Pull up through the chest, big inhale. Maybe lift one leg and then the other. Holding in Sphinx pose, engage your legs, so there's that little gap 
in between the floor and the knees, the very tops of the thighs, big inhale. Exhale, pull the feet up off the mat, flex and point, flex and point for three, two, one. Drop down. Go ahead and bring your hands underneath your head, windshield with your feet. Back and forth, side to side a little bit. And slowly release. Take the hands to the bust line. Pull yourself up to your knees. Coming into your cat cow, maybe do a few barrel rolls here to just check in where things are laying and falling. Do things feel good? Do things feel out of whack? Sometimes you can do like this tapping on your hips. Right? These tapping that people see like on their face and on their chest. You can also manually break shit up. Right? Move yourself forward. Inhale the cap. Exhale the cap. Inhale the cap. Exhale the cap. Inhale back into the table. Tuck the toes, clap the hips, side down bar. Big inhale. Exhale, hold. Pressing into the palms, checking with the elbows. They turn to look back at you. Shifting hips back and forth, side to side. And then go ahead and slowly put a bend in the knees, clear the lungs. And hop. Feet up to meet hands. Ground down through the feet. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Let the inside of your thighs be engaged. Outside of your thighs, turn out, right? Hips turn in as your tailbone spreads, or your tailbone relaxes and your sit bones spread. And then exhale, let yourself fall down and over the tops of the thighs. And then on the next inhale, pull yourself all the way up to stand. Exhale, hands move down to the line. We'll come into a few quick vinyasas. Inhale, arm sweep high. Exhale, down and over. Inhale, hands to shins. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Let's run through Sun C. We just did a lot of Sunday Sun B in these last two videos. So pulling back through that right heel, pull forward that left shin, drop down to the left knee. Inhale, arms move high here. Check in with this left hip. Pull it down and over if you need to, right? Knee is still stacked over your ankle. Take that right hand outside of knee. Maybe hand drops to the outside of your foot. Squeeze the two together. Maybe you still use your hand here. Maybe you release this hand and nudge your shoulder open. Exhale. Float back into your half split. You can flex the toes. You can always point them to your alignment is keto. And then shift yourself forward. Hand plants. Put a bend in your back knee and then that left hand comes around to grab onto the inside of your right foot as you pull your glute toward or heel towards your glute and turn your torso towards the front of the Exhale, hold. Two more big breaths, big inhale. And exhale. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, slowly release, hands plant, step that left foot back to meet the right, press back through the heels and shift forward. We lower and lift, big inhale. Exhale. Roll over the big toes, pop the hips back and high. Same thing, right leg like forward. Inhale. Exhale, spot your right thumb and step your right foot up to meet your right hand. Pop your left toes out and over and drop down to that back knee. Inhale. Arms are gonna come high. Check in with the hips, pull back through that back hip. Exhale, hands come down to the heart line. Catch the outside of your knee. You can always use your thumb on the inside of that hip to pull back. You can take the hand to the outside of the foot, so pinkies and pinkies, 
in alignment here. You can also release the hand and nudge that shoulder back. Toes can be tucked or flat. Big inhale. Exhale, slowly release. Send yourself back into that half squat. Check in with your hips. Toes turn up, drop down. Check in with the bend of the knee. The release in your hips. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, hold. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, slowly walk yourself back up. Go ahead and plant that left palm this time. Put a bend in that back knee, and your right hand grabs onto the inside of your left foot as you pull that left heel towards your glute. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, hold. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, slowly release. Tuck the back toes. Pick up the back knee and step your left foot up to meet your right. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, bend and over the tops of the thighs. And then inhale, we pull ourselves all the way back up to stand. Exhale, hands move down to part line. Second side. Inhale, arms sweep high. Exhale, come down and over. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, go ahead and step your left foot back. First this time, drop down to that back knee, toes flip flat, inhale, and sweep high. Exhale, hands move down through heart line again. You can take that thumb into the crease of the hip, pull it back. Hand can come to the outside, turning and twisting. You can catch that compression. Or you can also have the hand to the inside of the foot. Or you can also release, keeping the elbow on the outside of the knee and pressing your shoulder open. Exhale, slowly release. Send your hips back. Check in with your hips. Flex and point the toe. Play around with it a little bit. Big inhale. Exhale, hold. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, slowly. Pull yourself back up. Plant through that left palm. Pull that heel in towards you and grab onto the outside of the foot. Release to the front part of that left quad. Big inhale. Exhale, hold. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, slowly release. You're gonna plant the palms, pick up the back foot, and step that right foot back to meet the left. Press back through the heels and shift forward. We lower and lift. Exhale, we'll lower the big toes. <sighs> Hips move back and high. Pedal out through the heels. Nice deep inhale. Left leg comes high to the sky. Spot your left thumb. Step your left foot up to meet your left hand. Hop your right toes out and over. Drop down to your right knee. Check in with your hips. And then inhale. We sweep ourselves high to the sky. Exhale, hands move down through heart line. Right elbow catches outside of left knee. Press into your palms and turn and look back behind you. Exhale, hold. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, release your elbow. Send your hips back into that half split. Check in with, with your hips, right? You might need to pull back through that left hip, pull forward with your right. You can always use blocks. Try and just keep yourself in a balanced space. I like to go to that real good space of discomfort <laughs> just to figure out what it is, right? So to find that little shake in the leg and then shift yourself forward, plant the palm. Tuck the back toes and then use that to pull the knee back as you come around to grab onto the inside of that foot. Pull forward here. Big inhale. 
Exhale, hold one more time, big inhale. Exhale, slowly. Hands plant, back toe tucks. Your hands are on the, both your hands are inside of that left foot and your right foot is gonna step to the outside of your right pinky. Coming into a low blossom squat. Nice deep inhale. Reach those fingertips past the toes. Inhale, arm high. Exhale, bring yourself down through center line. Head lifts, fingertips reach opposite side. And then slowly bring yourself all the way down to your seat. Okay. Take both of your legs nice and wide. Lift and shift yourself forward. Move your glutes out of the way. Come onto the front part of your sit bones as you walk yourself down and over the tops of your thighs. Inner part of your groin, relax and release through your hamstrings and in your glutes. Nice deep inhale. And exhale. So coming into this with a strong core and a flat back, right, to protect your sacrum as you're shifting here in your hips. Allow yourself to relax and release through your glutes, through your sit bones. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, hold. Two more big breaths here. Big inhale. Exhale. One more time, big inhale. Slowly walk your hands back towards you. Up underneath your knees. Oh, a little shimmy. Be mindful. Move and shift your feet back and forth, side to side. You can always take your feet to a block. Right? So playing around with this, right? You can always take your seat to a block, okay? So always options in different places in terms of getting into different spaces within your pelvis, right? Feet dropped, feet dropped, all of the things. So give yourself a moment just to be here soles of your feet still pressing together. And slowly bring yourself out. We're gonna do one more thing. Shift to your left hip and take the inside. What am I doing? Take the outside, there we go, of your right foot to the earth. So, pinky side of the foot, shift back, kick this foot back behind you. You're gonna turn and rotate yourself over the top of that hip. So, relaxing and releasing in your IT band.
slowly release Move yourself out of it. Same thing on the opposite side. Shift to the opposite side, pull that leg back, edge of the pinky, side of the foot is down to the mat, and then you're gonna sweep yourself over, creating some compression, finding some extension in that left foot, opening up in the outside of that left hip. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, hold, one more time, big inhale. Whew, girl, come out of it. Both knees, sweep yourself onto your mat. Pull both of your legs up into your chest, maybe do some big circles with your knees if you go one way. Make sure you go that opposite way. We could do frog pose, but we're not going to today. We'll do that. We'll just hold the next one for 20 minutes and frog. <laughs> Grab for your big toes. Let your legs drop like we did in this last video, but using your hands as a space of resistance. Bind your big toes. Exhale. Two more big breaths, big inhale. And exhale. Last one, big inhale. And then exhale, pull the knees together. Pull your both of your knees up into your chest. I like to hook my forearms underneath my knees so they can create some space there. And then start to slowly pull down through my low back and hips. Chin tucks in towards chest, big inhale. Exhale, hold. Again, big inhale. And then exhale, slowly release. If the legs all the way down to the end of the mat, if there's any final movement that is calling to you, please take it. Maybe windshield wiper your feet back and forth, knees, just to get a last kind of movement space with the hips. Supine twists are always nice. Right, any final kind of twisting through the spine, the hip stacks. Leg can be straight. This is essentially what we did on our seat, right? It's just a different way of coming at it. Right, if the knee was bent, it would be like that. And slowly release. Let yourself come all the way down into your Shavasana. Toes hop out to the sides. Hands down high up your sides. Palms face up to the sky. Coming in to your Shavasana. just to breathe here. Soul journey. Each deck talks a lot about souls. In the secret language of Dwight, Denise Jari, transmissions for your soul. <laughs> you are ready to start. A new chapter is beginning for you right now. This time, go easy on yourself. Be the courageous, loving being you are. Breathe into the present moment and allow any anxieties to drop away. Enjoy the journey and stop thinking the future will bring something better. When the future arrives, it will be now. 
So about like a shadow of your past. All that matters is what you decide to do from this moment. Your life is yours in whatever way is meaningful to you. You brought yourself to this life and you're responsible for the quality of it. Trying to understand your reason for coming here will just hold you back. Just remember everything has, everything that you have done was the best thing to do at that time, or you thought it was. As you move forward, you'll understand your motives. Experience allows you to better handle crisis. You are now deliberately creating a new chapter in your life. You're such an amazing pioneer. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale. When you're ready, you can press yourself over into a fetal position and then bring yourself up into a simple seat or you can stay exactly where you're at. I have definitely been trained by David Vendetti. I love you, David. As I like watch myself do these things. Anyway, uh, the divine light, the divine feminine, the divine masculine, and the divine love in me sees, honors, and reflects the divine light, the divine feminine, the divine masculine, and the divine love in you, dear Jane, and all of you, um, the collective we, um, all of us. Thank you for sharing your practice with me and for trusting me with your heart, body, spirit, and soul. And to that I say, go in peace and remember to serve love always. Peace and love. Thank you. Yeah, I'm